Money. Who doesn't like money? Money can be used for so many things. Food, clothes, housing, education, hospitals. It really does make the world go round. But in reality, there are two kinds of money. Good money and bad money. Bad money is criminal money. Illegal funds that are made by and spent on terrorism, crime, drugs, weapons, human trafficking, fraud, corruption. All the things that destroy communities and decimate lives. Whether you're talking about the horrific terrorist attacks in New York, Paris and Nairobi, the vicious criminal gangs who prey on our communities, rhino poaching, corruption that's stealing away money meant for development and upgrades, the shadow economy is responsible for so much suffering and pain across the planet. So the illicit flow of bad money is a very real threat to our safety and security, both as individuals and as a nation. But how can we stop it? Well, that's where the Financial Intelligence Center steps in. Established by the Financial Intelligence Center Act and supported by the relevant legislation, the Financial Intelligence Center's mandate is to identify the proceeds of crime and to assist in combating money laundering and the financing of terrorism. In this way, the FIC plays a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of South Africa's economy, making the system intolerant of abuse. However, bad money isn't just a local problem, it's a global issue. And the FIC is part of a network of similar centers around the world, sharing information and supporting law enforcement so that bad money can't move around freely. Having an organization such as the FIC is actually an international requirement supported by 180 nations and a number of multinational treaties. In fact, without the FIC, South Africa's economy would be downgraded, marginalized, or even blacklisted. Our economy would shrink, unemployment would rise, investment would dry up, and our international relations will deteriorate, leaving us isolated. That's why it's so vital to identify effectively the proceeds of crime and to do this, the FIC's main focus is follow the money. The process begins with reporting. Under the relevant legislation, all accountable and reporting institutions operating in South Africa are required to register with the FIC. That includes banks, lawyers, gambling institutions, foreign exchange dealers, estate agents, and many others. A full list is available on the FIC's website. All businesses are, however, required to report any suspicious or unusual financial transactions to the FIC. The FIC therefore acts as a centralized reporting hub, and over the years, the number of reports has grown exponentially. Suspicious transaction reports, cash threshold reports, and terrorist property reports are pouring in daily, and this is a good sign that participating institutions are taking their responsibility seriously. The next step is analysis. Using the reports as clues, the FIC's outstanding team of in-house analysts gets to work, crunching the big data to identify trends and typologies which point the way to bad money. Once the analysis is complete, the FIC diligently writes up its findings and passes them on to SARS, SAPS, and other competent authorities for further investigation. Every year, the FIC also receives hundreds of requests for specific information from external organizations. And so, the cycle continues. Underpinning all this reporting and analysis, there is compliance. This aspect of the FIC is focused on building awareness with its partners, offering guidance on reporting obligations, and enforcing the legislation when necessary. The FIC is also involved in developing policy, helping to ensure that South Africa's financial system is evolving in line with international standards. The FIC is therefore a proud and positive part of the macroeconomic value chain, dedicated to making the world a safer place for all. This is what motivates the FIC's team of over 200 employees, gathered from every sector, lawyers, analysts, business leaders, tech experts, administrators. It is a purpose-built team committed to being part of the solution. In these uncertain times, it seems that every headline is announcing yet another tragedy. That's why it's never been more important to stay
stand up to bad money. By working together with the FIC, we can all play our part in combating terrorism and crime, keeping our economy safe and productive, now and for generations to come. For more information about the Financial Intelligence Center, please visit our website at fic.gov.za.